In this video, we will talk about what are the problems, what are the growing pains if you have your own laundry business. We have the expert in the laundry shop business industry in the Philippines, the laundry queen, na, laundry queen, <laughs> Joyce Yo, in this video. So if you want to know more, this is part two of our video with her. Check this video out. Hi guys, please subscribe to Marvin Jervas channel and hit the bell for notifications. Oh, please, parang awa mo na and stay till the end kasi <laughs> titignan natin paano siya umaman sa laundry mat. Sobrang galing, sobrang galing niya guys, sobra. As in, kahit ako ngayon, feeling ko mahirap ako. So, stay till the end, stay till the end. <laughs> Okay guys, we're now in part 2 of our video with the Laundry Queen. But it was been Laundry Queen of the Philippines. Na. Parang, we'll, 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 no, we'll, we'll coin it kaya para pag sumikat siya na Laundry Queen of the Philippines. Dito siya na, dito nang galing yun sa Marvin yes. Germo. <laughs> and any, anyways, for those who watched the first video, we talked about the startup cost of uh, going into the laundry business. And then yung edge versus yung mga, yung uh, full service laundry shop and why it's becoming a, a, a trend also na nakita natin doon na you need at least 2 million pesos to be able to start it. Tapos kailangan maganda yung location mo when you start doing it. Ngayon naman, when you were starting out, ano yung mga biggest challenges when you did the laundry business? Ano yung mga, kasi lahat ng mga tao sa business, sa start, very optimistic sila. Mm. Parang, okay to, wala magiging problema na to. Kaya madami nagsasara kasi minsan sobrang optimistic sila. Hindi nila inisip yung mga problem. So, ano yung mga mistakes na, that you, you saw in your own business? And then, ano yung mga problems na na-encounter mo? Okay. When we started our laundry business, ano, kasi um, in that area kasi, meron, meron ng mga full service. So when we say full service kasi, um, sila yung mag-iiwan ka na lang ng damit, then per kilo mo siya lalabahin. So ang nangyari kasi is ang hirap i-introduce sa students or dun sa area na yon yung ganong way. Kasi um, mas iniisap nila, the mentality is wala na, hindi na silang maghihintay. So and um, mas makakamura sila. But to think na kasi sa self-service laundry, ang um, maganda dun is per cycle siya. So for the 8 kilos of um, damit, mas makakamura sila compared sa per kilo. Mm. So, yun yung naging struggle namin is nung time na yun, wala rin pumupunta para magpalaba. Kasi nga, sa sobrang busy nila, they don't have time to do the laundry para okay. maghintay ng 40 minutes. So, what they did is we found, uh, we find a solution. So, ginawa namin is, um, kailangan mag-offer din kami ng um, drop-off service where they can leave the yung mga labada nila, lalabhan namin, and then they can get it within the day or the next day. So with that, nag-charge kami ng service, folding service. So yun yung pwede nyo gawin. Kung baga, mag-charge kayo ng folding service para hindi na sila yung maglalaba. But the essence of sub-service pa rin na... Um, Kumbaga, per cycle pa rin. Ito, yun yung pa rin yung machine. Kumbaga, sa isang machine, damit mo lang yung lalaban. So, ganun siya. And then, yun nga, mahirap i-introduce sa kanila. Mm. And also, when it comes to self-service, before kasi, na-intimidate yung mga tao to okay. do the self-service. Oo, kasi machine yun okay. eh. Minsan yung mga tao, parang, paano ko ba ito gagamitan? So, you really have to, you really need to have a staff na friendly and helpful. Pagpasok pa lang nila, you will guide them what to do. Kasi I've experienced like that eh. Nag-laundry nag ako. Then walang tumutulong sa akin. So, it's my first time. So, paano ko siya i-operate? Okay. So, yun, na-intimidate yung mga tao. So, kailangan mo humanap ng staff na, na friendly to help people. Kung paano mo maglaba, ituturo mo sa kanila. Ganun siya. Pero yung, yung ano, when you, when you open that laundry shop, uh, how long did it take before dumami na yung mga tao? Did, dumami ba siya because you marketed it na pwede na pala kayo mag-drop dito, ganun. Uh, how, how long yung turnaround time for, for it to get better? Actually, it took us mga three months para okay. maka, ano, kasi makabawi. Okay. Kung baga, para makilala nila and mapakilala sa akin nila yung self-service. Talaga? Oo. So, ang ginawa namin doon, um, to market our laundry business, pumunta kami sa mga kondo, naghihintay kami doon para um, magbigay ng, ng flyers. Tapos nilagay din namin doon yung difference from per kilo kung gaano karami yung kung gaano kalaki yung pwedeng nilang ma, ma kung difference ng presyo kung baga ma less okay so uh, so pa, so after noon parang nakita nila mas mura kaya sila nag-shift or yun yung pinaka yun, parang yung proposition na 
uh, mas mabilis as mas mura pa. Yes, oo. Okay. Mas mabilis, mas mura. Okay. When, when you started to do that, I'm, I'm curious to like, Uh, biglang nag-jump yung dami ng tao na pupunta or gradual din siya nung duma- dumami. Mm, or nakatakot ba nung first, no? Sorry, yung first, first, first month ba? Parang kasi mo lang dumadating na tao, ganun? Anong? Meron naman, okay. pero kasi as in, konti lang talaga. Okay. Ang, tapos gradual lang talaga yung pagdating ng mga tao. Kasi ang naging competitor din namin doon, meron kasing nag-pick up ng laundry doon sa condo, okay. doon sa dorm, na per, kumbaga monthly na yung babayaran, unlimited. So how can we beat that, no? So ang ginawa namin, we, oh, kasi yung mga estudyante dyan, minsan gabi na dadating. So minsan, nahirapan silang kunin yung mga laundry sa ibang laundry shop na pinalaban nila. So kami, ginagawa namin is, Iniiwan na lang namin yung laundry nila with the name doon sa baba. Okay. Para pwede na lang convenient na pwede nilang kunin. Okay. So, yun yung naging... Kasi nag-concentrate muna kami sa market namin which is doon sa condo mismo mm. na nakatira. And then in the long run, saka kami nag-concentrate din sa ibang market okay. which is galing sa ibang condo and also the residential area. Mm. There, when I say residential kasi yan yung mga nanay na... ayaw na maglaba kasi okay. busy. So, okay. ginagawa nila, pinapalaba na lang nila sa laundry shop and then kinukuha na lang. Kasi yung, yung kapag galing sa machine ng washer, mm. air-dried na yan eh. Okay. So, pwede na lang nilang isampay. Uh, <laughs> so, for 60 pesos, nakapaglaba na sila ng okay. madami. Pero, do you have a service also na parang nakatupi na nakahangin na no need na to no need na to hang para pwede mo nasuot yung diretsyo? That's possible also? Oo, oh, or... possible naman. Okay, Pero, okay. yun nga, it depends din sa, sa special instruction ng, ng ayaw. Custom. When you, when you do that, that's an ad, parang additional charge, additional, additional charge. charge yeah. Na Ayun, speaking of charges, uh, may, may mga different tiers ba yan na mga laundry mat? Meron bang parang super premium, meron yung normal, meron naman masa na, na laundry mat? May ganun ba? Or same, yung target market, sino normal target market ng, ng ganun? I assume kung students yan, di, syempre, yung pang bibili naman nila nung laundry, ano, alaw sa magulang nila. So, may particular market segment ba na tinatap yan? Um... I think yes kasi ang not, not really particular naman. Kung baga parang nag adjust din kasi usually yung mga tao. Okay. Pero the same lang yung market eh. Kasi okay. halos ngayon the problem with the laundry business nga lang kasi if ang nangyayari is nagpapababaan ng presyo. Mm. So ang nangyayari is nasisira yung market ng laundry. Okay. Kaya lagi kong sinasabi you don't compete with the price. You okay. should compete with the service. Added service na pwede mong i-offer. Like kunwari ako for my laundry business um, ang gina- kunwari we're giving additional service na pwede kaming mag, nagbibigay kami ng mga free na na um, ano tawag dito plastic so okay. ganun kumbaga uh, lalag- lalagyan ng laundry ng laundry mo so kumbaga you have to compete with the service okay. parang ganun siya not not hindi pa lagi sa presyo yung yung sa area niyo ba madami mga laundry mats din doon bukod sa mga mesh kanina na may full service sa area niyon dalawa lang kayo or talagang madami rin na malapit na magka competition niyo ay nang time na yon kasi mayong full service na nagpi-pick up sila uh-huh. mismo doon sa sa dormitory namin. Okay. So kahit malayo sila. Oo, oh, kahit okay. malayo sila actually San Juan pa yun eh. Ah, like so dina uh-huh. bike siya okay. to get a tricycle para kunin yung mga labada and then i-deliver ulit. Mm-hmm. So doon yun yung full service. And then Meron naman kami, medyo malayo naman siya. Uh, ano naman siya, self-service din. Pero the problem with them daw, kasi medyo madumi na yung, yung, yung machine. Okay. So, medyo hindi na ganun kabango kapag okay. lumalabas. Ah, talaga? Yes, kaya okay. importante pa din yung maintenance. Okay. Mahal ba yung maintenance yun? Um, for the first year kasi, yung mga supplier, they offer um, month, uh, quarterly, uh, quarterly cleaning. So, it's free. So, after that, you have to pay additional service fee which is medyo mahal siya kasi per machine siya okay per pair of machine how much should they budget for that for the, the main- um ako ginagawa ko since dati pa nagtatabi ako 5000 monthly per, per machine Whoa. um not per machine okay. pero per kita ko para okay. siguro sa isang sa quarterly cleaning kasi gagastos ka ng mga 10000 okay. so okay. you really okay. have to um set aside money for that Okay. Pero sa sira, LG, I can assure, two, two years na wala pang sira. Basta aalagaan mo lang siya. Kasi you can do manual um, maintenance. Yung kumbaga hindi na kailangan ng, ng service ng LG. Ang kailangan mo lang is, um, yun, i-maintain mo siya. Palagi mong dilinisin. Okay. Kasi machine lang yan eh. Nagbumabara siya, nagdumudumi. Kasi yung mga damit, syempre madumi. So, meron kang pwedeng gawin to counter that. Ay, may, may mga issues ba dyan na ano na 
I, I don't know, I'm thinking about it as a, as a consumer na parang nawala yung damit or nanakaw ng employee. Especially, kunyari, baka may Prada sila na gamit or may mahal na item na, na nakita na, uy, kunin ko na lang to, ganun. Or nagkapalit yung, yung laundry. Ano. How, how did that happen? Parang example of a scenario, tapos paano mo siya naayos? Also. Okay, so with that, thank you for mentioning it. Kasi yun din yung struggle din talaga ng every laundry business na okay. nangyayari. Kasi dami ko na yung nakukong increase. Um, nangyari yan sa amin na nawawalan daw sila ng pantalon or ng ng damit. So, but we don't know naman kung talaga sa, sa amin na wala. Mm. Kasi hindi naman namin binilang pagdating. Okay. Okay. So, um, ang daming nagreklamo that time. Ang, kin- ang ginawa ko is, kinounter ko siya, ginawa ko is, gumawa ko ng form where they can um, input kung ano yung mga pinalaban nila. Okay. So, kunwari, pants. Ilang pants. Okay. So, ilalagay nila yon sa form. So, nilagay ko doon na if you have that form, tapos binilang ng staff namin, kung natama yung nasa form, and then pag binalik sa inyo and nagkulang, that's the time na we will have to pay okay. for that. Kasi hindi siya maiiwasan eh. Minsan naiiwan siya sa machine. Okay. Tapos nalalagyan na ng ibang damit. Kasi may sunod na nalalaban. Kasi may, may, mainit yung machine. Okay. Okay. So, hindi lahat nakukuha. So, hindi siya may iwasan. Kaya, um, we do apologize for that kapag may nangyayaring ganun. But, to counter that, kailangan yung staff mo um, medyo metikuloso din. And, y- para naman hindi, ma- hindi tayo in the business side, malugi on our part. Kasi, hindi mo pwedeng babayad lang tayo ng babayad pag nawawalan. So, ginawa namin is they have to fill up the form. If they don't have the form, hindi namin siya maka-counter check. Ah, so hindi yan. kami hindi kami po magbabayad for that. And we are only allowed to pay. Kunwari, how much yung service na pinagawa mo? 60 pesos. Ah. Um, I can only pay sa so nawawalang damit five times ng service na pinagawa mo. Okay. Para naman hindi tayo malugi. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Kasi baka sabi hindi, yung dati na walang, sila, na walang siya ng pantalon, worth 3,000. Mm. So pinapabayad sa amin, worth 3,000. Mm. Sabi ko, yun nga. So nag-apologize na kami and, kasi hindi namin alam kung sa amin talaga nawala kasi nagpapalaba din siya sa iba. Baka na misplaced lang. So ganun na yung ginawa namin. But we paid for that. Ah. Do you suggest na ganyan? May mga lakos ka na damit. Mga, mm. po, an, paano, paano ganun? Do you, do you suggest na sila na lang mismo mag magbantayan na nila yung 40 minutes na nandoon or ano, ano yung para para maiwas okay. para maiwasan may iwasan yung ganun. I don't know I know may mga may mga mahal din talaga na gamit also you know what what's the best practice for that for for that ah, if you have yung mga ayaw mo mag-shrink yung damit mo oh, okay. kasi may mga matela talaga oh, na oh. mag-shrink talaga siya kasi mainit yung machine hmm. hindi talaga siya maiiwasan so okay. it depends on you na rin kung kung ano kung kung gusto mo siyang gusto mo pa rin siyang ipalaba. Okay. So, it's, it's better na ikaw na lang maglaba doon. Okay. Pero it's not naman, ano, out of 100 times, that doesn't oh. happen often naman. Not, yes, not, oh. not, a big, not a big problem naman. Ang mahalaga doon, okay. your staff should be um, apologetic. Kasi parang kailangan maturuan mo din yung staff mo to be, ano, kumbaga, ma- ilagay yung shoes nila doon sa part ng customer. Parang maintindihan nila na ganito. So, um, and help them. Mm. Pangit, yun, yun kasi yung nagiging ano, nagre-reklamo sila if hindi mo sila matutulungan. Okay. Mm-mm. Saturated na ba yung market? Sa dami na na nag-iisip na mag-laundry mat. Mm. Uh, is there a lot, is there more laundry shops than people needing laundry? Mm-mm. Or malayo pa tayo dun? As of now, uh, we're uh, malayo pa tayo dun. Ano, kasi sir, I believe kasi sa laundry, it's it's by area, eh, perimeter. So, ikaw ba magpapalaundry ka sa mas malayo sa iyo? So, um, kumbaga, convenience, sir, as, as you always mention. Kumbaga, kung ako, kung saan ako mas malapit, doon ako magpapalaba. Okay. So, when it comes to competitors, um, sinasabi ko nga sa mga tao na you don't have to be afraid of competition. Mm. Kasi when, kunwari, nakita ko itong place na to, ang daming, may isang laundry shop na sobrang daming nagpapalaba. Pwede ko siyang tabihan with certain perimeter kasi I will just get the market share. Kung baga, okay. kukunin ko lang yung konting share okay. ng market niya. Okay. And then, pareho kami magsasurvive. So, okay. yun. Um, don't be afraid of competition. Mas maganda yung yun, yun, healthy competition kayo. <laughs> Now, uh, you, you said nung start, yun, yun, yung mga, yun yung mga biggest problems yun. Nung uh, six months, nine months, twelve months along the way, what if may mga laundry mat na parang mahina pa rin yung sales? What, what can they do or... Mm-hmm. What, 
ano yung kailangan nilang gawin? Baka maling location, lipat sila, or talagang isara na lang nila altogether? Anong payo mo sa mga ganong ano? Actually sir, with, when it comes to paglipat no, ng location, kasi mahirap siya, kasi um, as I mentioned nga, meron tayong tinatawag na yung ano to, um, uh, sorry sir ha, yung pag, ano to, yung, sorry sir, so, okay lang. so habang iniisip niya yun, ako muna magsasalita, okay, Sige lang, isip ka lang, ano. Oh, hindi, mm. yung cost for maintenance, cost for the installation, mm. sorry. Tsaka, tsaka, tsaka guys, makikita natin na kahit sobrang yaman, minsan kailangan din talaga nila mag isip So, <laughs> yung mga ganyang mga parameters, so nakikita nyo, ano to, this is as raw as it can be na. Kahit sobrang yaman, sobrang talino, may mga times na kailangan din talaga nilang isipin. Oh, totoo, yun, totoo, yun. Oh, totoo. Pero mayaman, so okay, okay lang. Tsaka, tsaka, we love life. Mayroon. Oh, may love life. Oh. So, yun yung importante. May, 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 love life. Oh, may pera ka okay. sa may love life. Kasi alam mo yung moto ko, mm. anin mo yung pera kung wala kang love life. Diba? Oh, anin mo yung laundry shop kung wala kang love life. Yes. You have no one to share the clothes with. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yun. Comment below kung wala na kayo natutunan dito. Pero, oh. so, so, anyways. Okay, tuloy. What were you saying? Oh, diba? Ayan. Yun yung segue. Ganyan yung okay. mga segue. Para walang dead air. Okay. 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 Anyway, so yun nga. Yung cost of installation. Okay. So, nalugi ka na ng 200,000 ah, for the installation. Tapa. Kaya, I don't suggest na maglipat but lipat pero if if kumbaga hopeless case na yo so paglipat ka na nga lang so okay. another 200,000 for the installation but yun nga ngayon kasi they what you can do is um pwede kang mag pick up and deliver mm. Pero tiyagaan lang talaga to Pick up and deliver para mabadagdagan yung sales mo. And then you can use some up na yun nga, na parang grab food, ganun. Mm. Na i-deliver sa'yo, pick up sa'yo. So, um, and also, I heard may isang laundry shop, hindi siya nag-work. Kumbaga, ang daming, kumbaga walang pumupunta sa kanya. So, ginawa niya, kinontsaba niya yung mga tri- tricycle driver. Okay. So, binigyan niya ng mga t-shirt about the laundry. Tapos, Agaling. binibigyan niya ng commission. Okay. Every time na may makuha silang tao na magpapalaba, nadalin sa kanila, may commission siya. Galing. 20 pesos per ano. So, Galing. not bad na. Palugi ka na lang muna for the first month. Ikaw ba, naka, ikaw ba nakaisip niyan? Feeling ko ikaw nakaisip. Sobrang, guys, so, sobrang, sobrang talino. Sobrang galing. <laughs> ngay- 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 Marketing. Nawala, nawala. Uh-huh. Hindi ko ito natanong kanina. How, do you, how should you price your uh, your your laundry? How, how, should it, how should it be done? And then we'll end with that for okay. this video. So, for the price of um, laundry, ang pwede mo gawin if you have the uh, comp- may competitor ka near the area, huwag kang lalayo at huwag kang mas bababa sa presyo niya. Either tapatan mo siya, uh, either tapatan mo siya or more than ng konti lang. Like, more than 5 pesos. Kasi for us, is 60 pesos wash. Okay. Uh, 65 pesos wash is 65 pesos dry. So, kumbaga, if you sum it up, 160 plus um, folding service, uh, hindi kami lumayo sa presyo ng competitor. It's still affordable. Mm. Kumbaga, ganun. Kasi once na binabaan mo yung presyo, bababa din yung competitor mo hanggang sa magpatayan na tayo ng presyo. So, bawi ka na lang sa added service. Kumbaga, kumbaga uh, syempre, pag mas bago yung machine, mo, mas gusto ka ng mga tao, mas malinis yun. Ano mo. So, maintain mo yun. Uh, and then, you can do promos like, um, kapag nakapag, uh, nakasampung palabas sila sa'yo, you can free the wash, mm. pang tent. So, marami ka pwedeng gawin. Yan, yes, okay. so, a loyalty card. Okay. Tapos, you can give freebies yan. Okay. So, mga ganun. Galing. So, it's all about marketing. By the way, marketing kung di nyo napansin, sobrang galing niya. Marketing master din siya. Master. So, that ends our second video. If you want to know more about Joyce Yo, I have her channel below and details also on how you can contact her para maging sobrang expert din kayo sa laundry business. So, for the last video, pag-uusapan natin para abangan nyo yung last video. Yung mga mag- nagpa-franchise ba si Joyce or ano yung mga kailangan nyo also from a business tactical perspective on business. So, ayun, learn more from Joyce. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. Bye everyone.